um, uh, if you think space-time is something real, then you should be able to meaningfully talk about separations of space and separations in time of uh, any arbitrary amount that you like. So uh, we can talk about separations in time of seconds, separation in space of meters, but you should also be able to talk about it at arbitrarily short times and arbitrarily short distances. And we know that that's impossible uh, be because of gravity, because if we try to probe very, very tiny distances by the uncertainty principle, we have to use a lot of energy and when we get to tiny enough distances, we have to use so much energy that we collapse a little region of space-time we're trying to look at into a black hole. And that makes it impossible to probe what's going on in that region. Because so much energy by E equals mc squared, Einstein's famous equation, means that there's so much mass, the mass and the energy curve, space-time, and it all collapses. Exactly. Like and black they make hole. it impossible to see the region you were trying to look at. So this is a very simple thought experiment that... Uh, uh, that takes together the two basic ingredients, quantum mechanics, gravity. You put together quantum mechanics and, and, and gravity, and you see that, that it's simply impossible to make sense of space and time separations that are smaller than a very tiny amount. But, uh, but, the, but the, the, the distances and times that we're talking about are the Planck length, the Planck time, Planck length 10 to the minus 33 centimeters of Planck time, 10 to the minus 43 seconds. So we know that space and time, just from this simple argument, can't really make sense. 